Good day guys, Bing here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to model this railing that complies with uh, Australian standard 1428.1. Okay, so like this one. So let's start. So here I have uh, a, a very simple project. So that's uh, two floor, stairs and wall. And let's start. So first, let's create a Rain and I'll delete this one. So now start. Let's start from this one. So first, I'm going to change this to a pipe type. Okay. So and then let's edit type. I'll create or duplicate. It. So 1428.1. And then so first, I'm going to get rid of all these uh, rails. So plate and OK. Okay, so the next I want to delete all the baluster. So go to edit type, baluster placement, change this to null, 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 and null. Okay, okay, okay. So now this is a, a top rail. So if you edit type, you will see this is a top rail. So actually, for this exercise, we need a handrail not top rail okay so go to handrail type click here and then so you will see there are two options one is pipe and one is rectangle so uh, first what I'm going to do is I'll change the profile of uh, this uh, handrail so according to the standard so it need to be served between 30 to 50 so I'm going to just use this uh, 40 okay and also you will notice that this a uh, hand clearance so it's a 35 so um, I'll change it to 50 okay so let's have a look of I'll just click OK and also this you must pick a sign okay so I'll pick left apply so you will see it's here so now this is a hang rail and this is top rail so of course we don't need top rail so we just edit type uncheck the top rail apply okay so now this and also you will notice that it's actually offset off, offset uh, from the wall so we just need to click on this and change this to zero Okay, so now that's correct. Okay, so now let's have a look at the diagram. So at the top, we need 300 horizontal extension. So go back to Revit, select this one. And actually, I show you. So if you tab, you can directly select this handrail. And then you can directly go to edit type. And now extension top, let's try so if i type in 300 apply that's it and also uh, i'll just have a test it now so if i go click the wall it will stop go to the wall if i click on floor go to the floor it post go back to post that's great so but for now i'll just change it to none and the the here so we will need one trade width okay and also 300 horizontal extension so let's go back edit type so make sure it's because i'm editing the handrail so you need to tab okay so edit type so go to extension beginning bottom so which is here so just yeah, see, you can just check this one. So this will automatically uh, apply, and it automatic uh, extend of one trip uh, depth. Okay. So and also we will need another three hundred apply. So let's say around three hundred. That's great. And now if you just need so. If you need this, only need them to, you know, for example, finish 
to the to the floor you can just directly change this to so for example wall and wall okay so stop at wall and uh, floor to floor yeah and and also we will notice it quite, currently it's quite sharp you know, all this angle so you just need to change it from right to fillet and also you need to type in a radius for the fillet and make sure it's uh, larger than the, the diameter apply so that's better okay so okay so if if, if you only need uh, it to stop at the floor then that's pretty much it so the only thing you probably need is maybe for, for example this one you can tab select oops, tab select this uncheck this uh, pin and delete it okay and this as well delete and also for these uh, Though these ones you can also uh, move it so for example I don't want it to be here I want it maybe to be here or to be here so it's all up to you and if you ping it it will move back to the, uh, the, the, the previous location okay okay so now let's change this back so tab select and edit tile I'll change this back to none because I want to. Uh, where's my support? <laughs> anyway, I'll, let's just leave it. So I'll because I, I wanted to model, model this. Okay. Okay. So we will have two options for this one. So first option is the easiest way is to it so tab select this handrail right and edit path oh, sorry not edit path edit rail and here you will have this option so edit path you can just add a dark here so for example uh, like like this okay and also maybe here you can add another one here and finish and finish so now you will see this is it so it's very nice very smooth right but the only uh, drawback of this method is once you edit this uh, handrail once you edit rail and if you go back to edit type and you want to change it back to oh uh, let's say uh, go finish at floor it won't work anymore it won't work okay you have to use a reset rating and then it will go back okay so now uh, I'll show you another method let's go back okay just slow back uh, I'm not sure uh, hang on. let's let's just change this back to now oops sorry tab edit type uh, I'll change this to none and I'll show you another method okay so the other method is we can model a family here model a family uh, as uh, a termination family so let's do it so file and go to family and um, it's on the rail, I believe, here. Raining termination. So open. And okay, so this is the confusing part. So what you need is you will need to go to the front view. Okay, so front view, and you need to model it. So this point, so where this uh, reference level is, and also. Uh, uh, which one is the center point center so this one center reference plan so this point is where the rail stop okay or, or where your termination start so what I'm going to do is create a reference line here and I'll just do a, a, a 
it will be what 20 uh, half circle okay and then let's create a sweep pick part pick this part and okay and profile um, let's go to 3d view and I just need to create a profile so I'll type in 20 so it matches the, uh, the rail and also you can add uh, create a material parameter you should create a material parameter so you, uh, you can change it to match the rail but here uh, I'll just skip skip this uh, step so now let's load this into the project okay so and then select tab select this handrail edit type so find here so terminations begin and so both of them just change that to bandwidth for apply okay and that's it so this way uh, you don't need to manually uh, adjust so but the only thing is you will see this now okay that's the only difference and um, I think uh, I think that's it uh, and also uh, let's try I'll just quickly show you so uh, I'll just uh, place a post on each side okay so maybe uh, maybe I'll delete this one delete this one maybe we have a support in the middle okay it's happening here delete and then maybe we'll have a post here so so for example okay so let's do it. So the post will be uh, the balustrade. But before that, I'm going to go to the family on the railing. I'll create a baluster first. So uh, railing here, baluster round. So because currently there are only 20 and 25, so I'm going to create a, a 40 maybe uh, so new type 40 mil and a double click and the top in 40 and okay so go back to this so this railing okay edit type so now on the baluster placement I'm going to place one and two so start and end post so select that 40, round 40, and so now let's have a look. So first host to host, that's good. And we need pick the uh, uh, top constraint because count, uh, previously it's a uh, top top rail, but because we delete the top rail, so we need to change this to host. And now top offset so because we need to manually adjust the height of this blaster now so I'll just type in 900 and 900 okay so now spacing spacing is an offset from the end of the sketch so for example if uh, so here, oh sorry, this is starting post, so which is here, so which is actually about here. Uh, actually, I'm just going to click OK and see where they are. Okay, so I'll sh explain to you. So now you will see they are uh, on the wall surface. Okay, so first let's adjust the, the offset. So in this direction, this. Okay. So this is controlled by this offset. Okay, so because we have a 15 mil hand clearance plus half of the, the diameter of this rail, which is 20. So we need to offset this post by 70. So let's type in negative 70, negative 70. So if I click OK, and you will see now it's aligned to the handrail. And of course, it looks like a little bit too high. Maybe I'll just change it to a fifty. Oh, sorry. And a fifty. And apply. Okay. Apply. 
Yeah, that's better. And now what we need to do is we need to offset because I want to. Uh, if you look at that diagram, it looks like this one sitting here, and uh, not sure about the top one, but uh, which is quite okay. Maybe I just need to offset it a little bit. So, so for the top one, so which is uh, end post, I'll just. Uh, change this to uh, maybe a 30 apply yeah maybe that's that's okay what do you think uh, okay so now let's have a look of the, the this one so this one so which is a star start post so I want it to be maybe here so which is uh, one trip so which negative we can just type in here so star equals negative 280 and then because of the um oh actually I'll just leave it so yeah it's close enough yeah you can always adjust that number so oh, if you want a little, a little bit more back you can type in 300 if a little bit close to the stair, you can just type in uh, negative 250, something like that. So click OK. Yeah, it looks like we need to extend that. So I'll uh, have a look at this height sitting on the ground, which is OK. So this one, uh, this one needs to be lowered. So it's as endpoint post negative uh, maybe 30. Apply, OK, yeah, better. Yeah, so maybe it need to be raised a little bit. So, oh, excuse me, oh, it's terrible. Uh, okay, so uh, here, 870 maybe. Apply. Apply. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so. Um, now let's try let's try uh, the the term uh, what's that called uh, I'll just get rid of the termination and let's try the post option uh, for this one so I'll go post apply yes and this one go to post apply yes yeah, looks like uh, we, it's not, yeah, just delete them and probably, probably instead of on this, uh, it's really hard to just uh, put them in the middle maybe and uh, this one looks like uh, we don't need it or we can have two <laughs> okay, so that's it um, and uh, okay, the last one so let's try this one so I think we can do this we can do this we can do this but I'm uh, not sure about the size I, I don't think I can't find how to adjust the size so this but uh, we can do this and we also can do this uh, this one should be same just edit talk change that to none and none okay and I'm not sure about this, but let's edit rating and see what happens. So uh, maybe we can, we need to we can just uh, just do a 300 here and go back to here and also here go back to here and okay and okay nice okay so. That's it. Um, if you have any questions or if you have uh, better ideas, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.